Welcome back everyone, we are now in part, oh let me do the maths, three of this beautiful scenario into the lair, and we are going into the lair, and our mission in the lair is to uncover all of the crud that is down here, and hopefully get through this stupid gate, that's our first order of business, because it is locked, and we need to get past. Um, we're about only about a third of the way through the turn limit, um, but unfortunately our job is to continue to press into these side passages because they're the only places we can go and as of yet we haven't found a way to open the gate at all. So let's try it, see where we get to. Um, in the south we're under less pressure. Uh, could there be some sort of... Let's press south first to see what we see around this corner. Slashy is very close to a level. Okay, there's a cockatrice here. We need to be careful with those. Um, the way we dealt with cockatrices before is just to bring all of the units that can fight it into close range. There are drones as well. So this cockatrice can't quite reach. Unfortunately, this is a, an exceptionally tricky one because the cockatrice is within melee range of within range of this mind raider, and the mind raider is absolutely brutal when it comes to killing things with arcane damage. And everyone I've got here is very susceptible to arcane damage, so if I go this way I will need to be exceptionally careful. Let's just have a... I can't really scout up to the north very effectively now. There is another cockatrice. Unfortunately the trouble down here is up, up at the north I have no worries about cockatrices whatsoever, mainly because Alinea is needed um, to unpetrify people, and Alinea is up there. She can't be in two places at once. Oh, Alinea is looking extremely beaten up, and I've got some drones to take out. Also be good if I could take out some of these cockatrices as well. So, where to go first? Well, left thready can have this one. It's nice having a basically elven unit who can't be poisoned. That makes a very nice change. Everyone else is eminently poisonable. And this sentry drone is nasty. And it will attack Alinea and it will do substantial damage. So. <laughs> Alright, Igor is poisoned. That's annoying. There's a village down here. There's a cockatrice there. I can get to that house though. So I'm going to. And I'm going to leave everyone else. Especially Ledidor. Okay, he didn't do much damage to me. Gonna move away with Galas. I'm gonna hope. Three hits with the bow. Oh no. No luck. How far can you move? You can even get round all the way as far as Elenia. Okay, that's no good. I do need to, unfortunately, use Galas to kill you. Hopefully he won't get poisoned. No, he doesn't. Alright, so no one is going to get in range up here. Uh, we're just going to gain a bit of health with Linear, and then after that we can get into position to go this way. Down here, still, I'm still very much more uncertain what to do, because there are just so many... I can't use my strategy of just rushing in with the spectres, because one of them will get owned by this side mind raider who does insane amounts of damage with range. Um, 
I mean, the only way I could do it would be if I could get Malkeshar behind them. Yeah, no, let's just give up on this, this flank for now. Just hope that that's not the way we have to go. I'm gonna explore maybe one step further before I run back. Okay, there's another drone back here. And then you could go up north. Go one step further, can't see anything useful. Can't get anyone else into position yet to fight the Buckle Trice, but it doesn't look like there's anything close behind it at least. We'll see next turn, I guess. I can take this slow, that's the good thing about this situation. Take it slow. Oh, where do you come from? Annoying floaty bugger. Alright, eat flame. You can reach whoever comes there. So let's hope there aren't too many enemies up that way. And we'll just zap you with Ledinor. Because you won't get healing there either. The Cockatrice can come here. And from this position it can attack Galas, and that's fine. I should have, uh, yeah, I can still do that. There are plenty, there are lots of trees around there. When the cockatrice is dealt with, I can feed Galas. Ah, where did you come from? Well, obviously drones are respawning now. Gonna have to watch out for that up here, because I probably can't hold this position with these guys. This squad, despite appearances, is slightly weaker than the other one. So I'm gonna block the gate. Just done there, that'll do it. Alright, you're gonna poison Arathan or are you going to zap him with your energy shock? Probably poison, people like to poison poisonable units. Um, and that is okay, I guess. Alright, down here we've got the mojo, we've got the ability to have we got the ability to kill this cockatrice? I mean, I'd have to get kind of lucky with the attacks. I want to get some more people up there before I go in. Okay, well, if you can only get to there, then you can only get to there. Maybe one higher. I want to get Malkashar in there as well. So that's that for you. Northern team is doing more work at the moment. Galas is unpetrified. Time for some draining, slowing damage of might. Oh, Galas, you loser. kill for Erethan. These drones have all respawned now, but they're all weak, so I won't have any trouble dealing with them when I get there. And 
I just now need Igor to be able to take out the Cockatrice. One hit out of four. What's that back there? It's, another, it's just another tree. Don't mind trees. Alright. Down here, um, there's a drone, but no need to worry about that. More trees. I can now get in with at least two factors. And that ought to be enough. Slashy. Go and kill this tree. Not that anyone really needs the help. And then you two have to take out the cockatrice. Okay, one hit needed. And there it is. So we've got drones. Um, we can deal with drones. And then we can look at what's back here. Actually, both teams are heading in the same direction, which is less than ideal. Maybe you guys should uh, try focusing northwards. Well, you, got, you can't, because you guys can't take on what's down here if there's a cockatrice. <laughs> Springing out of nowhere, that's going to keep happening, I guess. I wish it, I wish it wasn't just Gallus up here who had the drone, the drain special. So let's deal with what we've got going on down here. Perfect. And there we go. Okay, so you then move up. Not too far. Okay, this is a very, very boring corridor, and you guys should definitely head north. Can I see other stuff if I go up here? No, not really. Okay, there is a drone up there. And otherwise these paths are all blocked. So you guys need to head north or east. This looks quite promising. I kind of feel like if I can get this uh, cockatrice out of there, and there is another Psy Mind Raider back there, but I can't with this team I can use the old one-two punch so let's try that so if Gallas goes there, he will be bait also for the drone, the drone might strike first Elenia can come out, get ready to help, and you maybe go and grab this house. Can we see anything further up there? Not yet. Alright, there is more. Bloody hell, this place goes on forever! And once I've cleaned out as many of the cockatrices as I can up here, it seems like good strategy to, for this team to go south. Now you can still just about reach Erethan if you want to, which you will, and that's that.
Alright. Nice. Time to kill some trees. Can't reach most of them, unfortunately. You're the one that needs the health. You can reach a tree, and if you get the kill, you'll level, so that's nice. Mal, you go this way. You want to save those other trees down south. Might be that they come in useful somehow. Alright, got a cockatrice to kill. And then, gotta somehow get this Psy Mind Raider. I think probably the best bet is to do that with Galas, because Gal if Galax, Galas kills the tree, then the Mind Raider will come out. He can take the damage. And then we can retreat to a better position, but I do need to. Maybe I don't need to kill the tree before. No, I don't need to kill the tree before the Mind Raider will come out. But I will need to lure it into the corridor, which is not an ideal position. Alright. Go for the melee attack. And Erethan, you can get a melee kill. Fantastic. Then if you're really going to do this, Gallus, you want to stand here. And I want to get Elinia in here. And uh, good old Ledinor can come up behind. Alright. Uh, Eagle, you just stay where you are for now. Kill this. Yeah. Alright, now this guy can come out as well. Kill it! Too late. Okay, this thing's been whacked. I think Galas can just keep on fighting it, to be honest. You ought to be able to kill it with four hits out of five. Which he doesn't get, so now he's going to get a bit nobbled with the drain. This is an interesting combination. You've got a drain attack and an impact attack, which is swarm. Which so swarms dependent on how much health you have, how many attacks you get, and uh, the drain attack can regain health. So yeah, it's a nice combination. Any more drones spawn? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, so then you can continue your mission. You press forward to the north. Oh, the cockatrice. Okay. Can I do the old switcheroo? Maybe. Doesn't look like there's anyone else behind it, which is the crucial thing, usually. Yeah, okay. You're unreachable. Yeah, all right. I could, I should be able to go in with the with the two spectres. Do you get the house? I keep, I'm, I'm still playing with my old sort of non-existent brain on uh, because I'm still in this mindset where you need to get the houses, you need to get income. There is no income in this scenario. I know that. I know that. Damn it. <clears throat> okay. So if there's nothing up to the north here, then we presumably just don't need to worry. And these guys can then head south. Hope I've got enough turns. I don't know how much how much north there is. There could be quite a lot of it north of this of this base. Somewhere in here there must be a way to open that gate. <laughs> Well, it is helpful that this thing is slowed. I'm gonna move Galas back and let someone else get the kill. 
Uh, let it know, you could use it. Alright. Galas, you kill this. Oh, is this outside? How very odd. I didn't explore fully over here, so maybe it is another secret entrance to this base. I'll draw. And I can explore it, and I can explore it with you. You don't have... Maybe I should have given you that drain attack after all. But then you... I mean, you, you know, you couldn't drain the trees as effectively as everyone else, because uh, the tree could slow you. Okay, you come forward and sacrifice the two hit points that you would gain. And I'm just gonna do some scouting now, I can. Alright, so we've got cockatrices, we've got a river, and we've got some drones. Mm, nothing, nothing too crazy. But I can't obviously fight the cockatrice all that easily. Could sneak past it here, get into combat with this drone. Don't know what else is back here, there could be more cockatrices. Let's go scout some more. Oh no, it doesn't look like there is anything else back here. Just, uh, just drones. Ah, there's a glyph! Okay, this probably is what we need to open the gate. Or maybe I need to open, maybe there's two of them. Well, let's keep pushing on and see if we can see if we can do it. You can keep standing there. I'm gonna want to kill you anyway because you're annoying. Just don't want to get too far out of my comfort zone with good old Igor because it might be that there's someone else across this river. But I'll take that chance. <laughs> Hmm. And uh, Erathan is going to come and join him. Alright, down here I can get this cockatrice out of the way. Let's just scout a bit. Yeah, nothing else around. Good stuff. You can't reach any trees. There is another cockatrice, so I can get you in position for that. I think that should be enough. And you come out here, get ready to eat a tree. Don't need you or you to come up this way, I don't think. Oh, mate, why not? Well, why not is that you probably want to head south after opening that gate, but maybe two, maybe just two spectres isn't enough, so we'll keep on pushing in. Oh! Somehow I didn't. Somehow I didn't expect that. Uh, I feel kind of did. Kind of did expect that though. Well, there you go. It's, good, it's a good thing you're fast because you need to get out of dodge. And annoyingly, a sentry drone has just spawned. Only one person can reach. Oh, oh yeah, you came out, didn't you? All right, I'm gonna back up over here. And then you can't quite make it. And everyone can focus on the same enemies. <laughs> just not quite wise. You're just a bit too slow to get in there on the... 
on the cockatrice. So, all of you, please come down here. can't reach still. That's a disappointment. No, I just need you to stand here. Walk off this corner. Could move Malkeshar up to within zapping range, but uh, probably only end up in him getting <sighs> getting by the cockatrice. This will no gain whatsoever, so I won't do that. I'm going to move them around here instead. Same with the lady. You're too slow. You're going to come out. You're too slow. Alright, I've got two sentry drones coming at me. These drones are useless. Good. At least I know where I need to get to now. Oh, you silly sentry drones. You silly sausages. Okay, there's a drone that's just come up right up my backside. That's fun. Elinia's friends. My pits, please. No. Nearly dead. So. One for Ledinor. Alright, that thing's nearly dead. Aerithon's nowhere near another level. Is anyone? You're on 48 hit points now. Did I not notice that happen? Roughly not. You guys are just insane. So tanky. I want to get you into position so that you can take out the cockatrice next turn. So I'm going to put you here. Okay, there are more drones in the back. And they can't quite reach. Can't put anyone there. Can put you here. And now I just need someone like... Arathon, or even, no, Gallus can't quite make it. Just too slow. Good, right. You gotta stay where you are. Gallus. Well. Oh, you can't quite get in to heal Ledinor. That's a crying shame. Well, you just head north. And so you have things to fight. You'll probably get poisoned. But if you do, at least you'll uh, drag this person out of their comfort zone. And everyone is together once again. Yeah, there we go. See, they, you, you just... <laughs> but obviously, Gallus is kind of offended by this state of affairs and uh, not capable of doing damage. There we go. It's more like it. And now we can go in. You can't quite... None of you can quite reach the glyph itself. Which I think... I don't know if, if just anyone can activate it. Alright, there's drones back there. They're not strong ones, so... My spectres have probably got this. Mal, can you... Yeah. You're pretty close. You eat a tree. And that returns you to the full mighty 48 hit points. 
That's five after maximum level advancements right there. Or is it? 15, yeah, it is. 15 extra hit points. <laughs> They're on nearly 50% more hit points than they quote unquote should be. Gonna put you down here. You stay where you are. I won't need everyone up here, I don't think. I think a bunch of spectres ought to be able to handle it. They've got the submerge ability, interestingly. They go they go briefly invisible, but now under there. No kills. Oh, a drone has appeared in the wall. A uh, weak drone. Should be on very bad terrain. Okay, Malkeshar, go and check out what's going on up here. Ooh, spooky noise. Access granted. The southern gate is open. And I can get out of this hellhole. Got to take it slow. Good, you did that without getting poisoned. Time to make our escape plans. Can I avoid aggroing you? Yeah, I probably can. You're not quite close enough yet to be aggroed. Just need to not go here. Alinea, stay where you are. You stay where you are. And oh, okay. So over here there is a drone, I can use you to maybe block the path. Can this other drone reach as well? No, not, not from there. Oh, I'll have to fight it anyway, sooner or later. Alright, let's get moving. These forest spirits, I, I can't say it too often, they're just, they're just incredible. They're just a ludicrously, wonderfully powerful unit. I love them to bits. The spectres can come and soak up some good vibes. Everyone else get out of here as fast as you can. And over here, and all drones are coming. They're not looking friendly, but they're also not looking strong. So if Ledenor gets lucky, he could even take this guy out of the picture. such luck. But one hit from Igor ought to do it. The trouble with Igor is as a as a poisonable unit, we've gotta make sure I don't aggro you. Yeah, as a poisonable unit, he is susceptible to, to these things. But that was perfect. So 
so I don't need to worry about a single thing. And you can sit there, block these two, and everyone else is rapidly coming behind. Oh, we got cockatrices. None of you guys are fast enough to get down here and help out with the fight. Oh, well, that's okay. growing these three as I come through. Can avoid aggroing you. Gonna leave Elenia where she is for now. Spectres are on full health. Don't go there, you'll aggro this guy. You're just standing in the middle of nowhere, so you can get some help by sitting on this base. I'm about halfway through my turn limit, almost. That is a lot of cockatrices. Alright, who's going to get aggroed when I go where? So two of you will get aggroed from this position. And I can aggro all of you if I put someone here. I think that's probably not advisable, but I will put you there. I need to be careful with my group formation. Oh uh, no, not you. You, so she gets the light. Then you. This this row is fine. And this position is also fine, but whoever goes here has a chance of getting attacked by the big nasty. Um probably good to get some spectres out there. Come here. Here's still safe, and I can actually put Igor there. And everyone else just has to gather behind. Could I actually? No, that's better. You won't be aggroed. And you come down this way. And leave this northern nastiness behind. Ah, oh, so many cockatrices. Oh, and this gate's open too. Interesting. So watch out for that. It's gonna aggro some more drones. skirmishes left unfortunately. 12 times 4 or 11 times 5 but chance of getting poisoned for Galas. 
We'll do the Gallus thing. Good job. One of you, you maybe you come and take out this one. I should be feeding kills to Daffy. Okay, so then you can go here. You can go here and fend off this drone. When it comes out, you need to come down here. And then, if you go there, good, yep, you'll like the remaining drone. Or you will. That's fine too. Either of you, you're both tanks. Both absolute beasts. Oh. You little bastards. There's only there's only a few of them. Yeah, of course you go for the poison attacks. I think this is probably the single most irritating thing about these drones. The fact that they do poison damage. Okay, Daffy gets the kill. Can I push forward? There's cockatrices here. Are any of them in range of me? Will any of them be in range of me if I come all the way down? Not even close. So you go here. Actually, this drone. Let's just be clever about this and position this drone there. So it can't, it's not, not going to aggro the cockatrices, but it is going to cause this drone to come out and hopefully kill itself. Looking good as far as health is concerned, and we're looking good as far as drones from behind are concerned. Cockatrice player, however, is going to be getting gold. That's a player. I can fight cockatrices just fine, I mean, I just need to make sure that Ilinia is completely surrounded by friendly units. That'll do. Already blocks them off. You can't reach. Good. Let's like get these villagers back. I will, in the end. And just these spectres can get into position where they can swoop. Alright. Let's have some. Uh, you two are slow. Let's have some uh, petrification, I guess. Uh -huh. All right, let's chew these guys up and knock them out the block. 
You're going to go for this one because he's got better defense. And Malkashar, I think, ought to be able to finish it off with just one hit. Like that. If Ledinor gets a kill, Ledinor will level. That's nice. Okay, Ledinor's got 70 hit points now. I think he's gone up from... Not... what? 64 or something? Okay, well that would be his second... Good old Ledinor. And then, hopefully, the Spectres ought to be able to... Spectres... I mean, yeah, this, this is not a challenge. What am I talking about? Okay, Gallus not covering himself in glory. Good job. Uh, not a kill, but uh, close enough. Kill for Sothinia with a magical touch. And this remaining slow cockatrice can get stabbed. Okay, no more cockatrices to bother me. There is this sentry drone, and that can reach me now. So I just need to flop someone down in in, in front of it who can defend. Will that be enough? Yeah, it'll do. In fact, can even put Lady Alinea here so that she can take that damage, so that she can heal it. Everyone's there, good. One more drone. and everyone else just go south. There's a zombie thing, uh, abomination there. You can't reach me. Okay, another cockatrice is coming. Gotta make sure it doesn't petrify a linear. this abomination to eh, I always think you know there's, there's so many nasty monsters in that in this campaign that those guys are kind of just what's the what's the expression the icing on the cake okay we've got a couple of constructs goliaths standing in fortifications we don't need to aggro them yet Still got the Union, of course, haven't used that in a while. Okay, we can say goodbye to this drone who's quite happily 
sitting there in the corner. And another illumination. Alright, well this is a heavily fortified choke point. Okay, time to kill, kill, kill. down and neither of these guys have actually been aggroed yet so let's aggro them. Um, Malkeshar, I mean he gets, he's he actually, it shouldn't be him, he's the one that gets absolutely ass whooped by these guys so I should use someone else. They do impact, this one at least, uh, well okay it's just one. Maybe I should aggro this one too with a spectre. And we could both attack the same one. But they can't do much damage to spectres. Alright, try that. More cockatrices are coming. There's an enemy leader here. Hopefully, well, we'll see. Multiple cockatrices. Flash cannon. You don't do much damage here. Neither do you. Who does arcane damage? Could do it. Kaboom. How about you? What are you going to do? You're going to come and attack whoever gets placed here, and that's going to be Gallus. Ooh, there's a Chimera. I guess that's the evolved form of these Cockatrices. Well, it's not because they don't evolve, but it's the equivalent thereof. Doesn't look terrifying. But I bet that's going to be drones back here as well. I don't want you to get hit by that cannon. Okay, no more Goliaths. You can come out front, because you're good like that. And the three of you will probably, I guess, all go for the same one. Well, maybe they'll go for Gallus. Who knows? Can you reach anyone else? You can reach others here. So it doesn't matter if Gledon or stands there. You stay where you are and get hit points. You come back here. 
You come back here. Ooh, okay, there's lots of enemies here. There must be uh, randomly placed cockatrices. And there's a necrophage, weirdly. Yellow necrophage is back here. Hmm. Play kill the cockatrices. Will I aggro anyone else by doing that? Well, I'll aggro the, the leader. Um, the lead, leader can petrify. Malkeshar Mal can come over here and deal with this abomination. Um, for Hot One Ford, I'll be able to aggro both. I'll be able to aggro this cockatrice as well. That's cool. Almost worth jumping into the towers, but then I would aggro the necrophages. Maybe I want to. Maybe the, I mean the time isn't. Uh, maybe the, there could be drones back here, so I won't. I'm just gonna come over here. Scouting, and well, that's all the scouting you can do for now. There's <laughs> lots of undead surrounding this area. I don't know if I were Galas, I might be getting a bit tired of this. But I'm not going to use you to get the kill because you. I'm going to want you to run in. I think. Oh no! Well, maybe you maybe you can get the kill. I'll try to. I have to say try to just before I actually click the strike button. Otherwise, I will fail. Okay, I'll be opening myself up to attacks from some weak undead. This is not a problem. They're more of a problem, and only one of them can reach my spectres. Still, hmm. I guess that's all I can really do. I'll never know when this guy's gonna come out of his hidey hole. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Okay, maybe a spectre over here can sort it. Two hits would do. Ooh, that's such a creepy noise. Ooh, there's a big dog back there. Bad boy, you're such a bad boy. This is quite obviously an invitation into a trap. Shall we heed it? This whole place feels like a trap to me. On the other hand, if we don't come to him, he will come to us. Even then, I think we should first look around for anything that could help us. Weapons, information, anything. Okay. And I'm going to aggro some abominations. Just two up here, I think, and some necrophages down here. You're welcome to fight Malkashar. You can't reach anyone yet, I would like it to stay that way. You can just about reach a spectre. So if I put someone here, then the dog, the wolf can reach them. And if I don't put someone here, then the Zephyr can reach one of my spectres. Such was always the way, I guess. Everyone get into position to do some walloping. You in particular can come around here. But you can even get double walloped if you like. If the abominations want to attack my spectre, it's no skin off my nose. Alright, but what about you? It would be nice if there weren't too many options down here. These three can attack, each of them do 27 damage, 54, plus you, 28, 74, 82, that's enough to kill Igor, if they got exceptionally lucky. So I'm going to put him in a position where he can't be attacked by everyone. Um, maybe just here block them from the wall. If this one necrophage wants to go for him, then I say be my guest. Once again, Igor will suffer the indignity of being poisoned. I'm glad that you've taken that position, because that means that the Zephyr can't get in. Oh yeah, suck arcane arrows, boy. This is good. For the dog, I want to get Galas out there. But first, let's clean up a bit. I've got plenty of turns. So they say the entrance down here is the entrance to the east. I can explore these other passageways first. That, I think, just looks like boring drone caves. Gonna need magic damage to clear these guys from their perch, or at least it will be helpful. Can the dog reach? Mm, not if someone's there. Alright, Arcane is rubbish against these guys. What about fire? Fire is also not great.
but arcane is great against demons. Unfortunately, their attacks aren't bad against me either. Good job. You do the thorns thing. Nice. You're very slow. I'm just gonna move you around. That's you're just a razor man. You're good down here, you're strong down here, but not strong enough to kill Igor in one punch. And none of the others of you can reach him. Uh, down here is a necrophage. There's another razor man up here. We quite like. First of all, oh wow, Alinea is near another level, so the dog can now attack if it wants to, and I hope it will. It'll be it's a nice invitation for it to get pwned. Uh, but I also got some spectres to use. the dog AI was a bit better, that wouldn't have happened. Eh. So... Nice level 3 kill for Mr. Mal. And we can explore these other passages. I think that was going to be a kill. There's a drone here, it's slow. And then we've got a demoness Zephyr, we've got a Necrophage, we've got a Razor Man, and they can all attack Elenia next turn. Could run out and slow. All of these are melee units fundamentally. healing. Well, these guys can not quite... this one can reach the necrophage. This one can reach the demon zephyr as well. Good. 
Two hits, please. Cannot drain, so I'm gonna have you do that instead. And now you can choose to attack Galas, or you can choose to attack the Spectre, and so can you. You, meanwhile, could go and attack this guy, but that is not a strong move, so you're gonna get the village and heal yourself up a bit. Alright. a bit dicey there for a moment. I was counting on Galas hitting a little bit sooner than he did, but now I'll be able to finish things off. Bonsoir! Yeah, okay, now she can have the thorns. And we can now progress in two different directions. Well, not forgetting about this necrophage, but honestly it is pretty forgettable. Uh, aggro the drone, don't care. Necrophage can come and fight Melkishar. Or a Spectre. Uh, you just hop over. Um, yeah, you go back here, get some view. Okay, can't see very much down here, there seems to be a gate. Let's try north. Uh, there's a crystal. I bet there's going to be some drones. So far just crystals. Well that's nice if there aren't any more enemies around. of the soul, the darkness of the mind, two opposing aspects that govern our existence and give way to life, never fully overlapping but also always intertwined, the union of light and darkness, a paradoxical power beyond measure that permeates our reality like the sap that flows through the branches of a tree. Why would the first gods bequeath such a dangerous tool to flawed beings like us? What is it that they saw approaching at the end of time? The glyph's contents seem to be in a language you have never read nor heard before. Wah -wah. Sad trombone. It doesn't look like there's anything down here. Nothing across the water either. Okay, that's a dead end. You wait where you are. Um, you do some more village hopping. Gonna move you here. Not sure why, that's not very useful really. And then you can start pushing next turn to the south. East. And these guys can investigate the remaining glyphs. Uh, 
Oh, and there is a mine shaft. Looks like that's another. Uh, no, 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 I could in fact go down there if I wanted to. But maybe I don't. Okay, we got drones. Might as well aggro both of them. Oh, we've got a Draugr down here. They're nasty. Unlike the seer, Uriah believes that our fate can be changed by our actions, that there is no single path to the same destination, and that, like the fish that swim upstream from the ocean, the course of reality can be altered by a sufficiently strong will. The glyph's contents seem to be in a language you have never read nor heard before. Okay. Probably want to try and use Mal Keshar to aggro the Draugr because he's the beefiest and the least susceptible to things like blade damage. Don't step forward, whatever you do. Get Malkisha far enough. And that's the exit. Good. Could use Slashy the Spectre for this, I think. Yeah, because you have 50% blade resistance. That's plenty enough. Bit more vision, handy. Spectres are back there. Who do I want to get this kill? Probably Malka Shah, because, well, I don't know. You're a good bet, because those extra hit points really mean something on you. You're not likely to do it though, so I think I'm going to try it with Kesha. Well, who said anyone's not likely to do it? Get some slow in. Okay, now I think my bet with myself that Sothenia wasn't going to make another level is uh, going to prove wrong. You head south. Gala's can accompany you. No one can quite make it. Oh, okay. Igor can. But it definitely can't be him. I could mine this area for a bit more experience, I suppose. Doesn't seem very worth it. You go down here. Just a dead end. Alright. And I think that's that.
there he is. There doesn't appear to be anyone else around. Would it be possible for you two, perhaps, to strike him down from afar while he has his back turned? I was certain that you would not fail your word, Gallas. At long last, you and your loyal companions have made it to my lair, overcoming every obstacle in your way. Well done. So we have. Now it's down to you and us. Not exactly. You allow yourselves to be deceived by appearances. Who are you in truth? Reveal your identity, scum. We should at least be allowed to know the name of the wretched creature hiding behind that mask. <laughs> <laughs> Have you not told them yet, Elinia? What do you expect to accomplish by withholding the truth from your eyes? <sighs> told us what exactly? Oh, Gallas, I am so sorry. All this time I wanted to believe otherwise. I wanted to escape the truth is what you wanted. Once he had pronounced those words, the Chaos Emperor reached for his face mask and disconnected the wires that held it in place one by one. The Lady of Light just stood there, trembling ever so slightly, her eyes concealed by her right hand. Completely ignorant of the thoughts and feelings raging inside her, Galas could only watch the dark truth unraveled before his eyes. And although he quite obviously would have never recognized the distorted visage of the monster otherwise, the silence that followed allowed him to clearly hear Alinea utter his name in her faintest voice. Why did this happen? When? Why could I never find you? I cannot believe this! So my suspicions were true! And you, Elinia, you knew this! You led us here when you knew his identity and never saw fit to reveal it! Why? Having heard about Yechnogoth, I tried my hardest to believe that the power that enshrouded the lands of Uriah was not his doing, and perhaps. <laughs> You are but a foul imposter created by Uriah to lead our lady astray. There is no chance I will ever accept the Master of Darkness who once protected Erdia has turned to evil. You shall pay for each and every one of your misdeeds. Oh, but I am very real. While I cannot deny she made me who I am now, you are deeply mistaken if you think I am not the true master of darkness. Even now, in these dark times, I continue to look out for Erdja, but instead of wandering the earth as an aimless soul, I follow the path that was laid before us by the guardian of life herself. I am her voice, and I carry out her will for the sake of our future. Elinia, have you not wandered yourself countless times, whether it was destiny or a true coincidence that made our paths cross on Erdia? Did you not ask me once why we, mere mortals, had been blessed with an ultimate power beyond our comprehension? Why, even now that you have witnessed how by Uriah's grace I overcame the limits of my frail vessel, you continue to renounce her will. We were born to be together, to fight together, to save this doomed reality together. What should I do to persuade you to embrace our glorious destiny under her command? Or perhaps you truly believe I am an imposter like this Elfman's? No, Argan. I believe you. I've always believed you. 
I believe you even now, at the end. I loved you. Still love you. Which is why I must put an end to your suffering. I see. If there is nothing I can do to make you accept the truth, then you will have to die as well. As much as it pains me to even consider the possibility, Uriah's will reign supreme. One last chance to retract your words, unbelievers. Oh, a voice that speaks the will of the mother of Orvatha, what is your command? Kill them. Kill them all. Alright, we finally have the objective you've been waiting for. Kill Argan, the Master of Darkness, and put an end to his sinister rule over Erdia. Malkeshar's presence should allow you to recruit undead again when you capture an enemy keep. Well, I guess we're gonna find out in the next part, because I've already gone on too long. This is the next scenario, so I'm gonna take a break there. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time for a massive showdown.